Let me show you some secret codes available on Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. In order to access them, we need to open the phone app and we need to go to the keypad. So let's get right into it. The first code that I'm about to show you is for testing different stuff. So enter this code over here and finish it with the hashtag in order to open this test menu. Over here we can test vibration, we can test the speaker, we can touch, test the touch display and even the Esper as well. So if you choose one of these options, you can go through these tests in order to find out if everything works well. Uh, besides that, we can also check the email and, or IMEI actually, and serial number by using this code over here. And this is how we can check IMEI numbers, EID and serial number. We can also check the information about the version of our phone but also this code that I'm about to show you includes the information about the manufacturer date. So if you buy the S25 Ultra from someone, if it's a secondhand phone for, uh, at this point, then you want to enter this code in order to check when it was used for the first time. And this is the code, quite long one, and we end it once again with the hash. And here we have RF call, and this is the uh, date of manufacture, so when it was manufactured. And besides that we also have BL, AP, CP and some other codes that might be useful for someone. The next code that I'm about to show you looks like this, 0011 and ended with hash just like any other. And this is the GSM network status information. We can go through different sims in order to find some information about our GSM connection. We can also find USB settings by going by using this code over here and there we go we have USB settings where we can choose one of these options and choose okay if you manage to uh, decode them what they mean then of course it might be useful to use that menu then we have one two three four hash and here we have the version pretty similar to the uh, to the longer code that I had shown you with the RF call but in this case, it's not there, but we still have the model number, CSC, CP, and AP codes. And another code looks like this, 2663, ended with the hash in order to show the firmware a version where we can, for example, refresh the Wi-Fi version, but we can also find the information about the Bluetooth version too. We can also check the diagnostic configuration by entering this code over here. And in this case, it is actually empty, so not much we can do here, unfortunately. There is also a pretty similar one, 9900, and we have sysdump with a bunch of different options to go through, which might be useful for some people, I suppose, if someone knows what they can do with that. And the last code that I want to show you is the service mode. So if we enter this code here, 268. 3662 hash. Unfortunately, it is empty as well, just like the diagnostic configuration. Uh, but I suppose uh, Samsung forgot to disable it. And that is all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and see you in my next videos. Bye.